In this video, I'm going to explain to you guys how to color grade Vlog L and Vlog in cameras like the Panasonic GH6, S5, and GH5. Diving right into it, the way I color grade is I actually try to set up my effects panel or if you're in DaVinci, your node tree in a certain aspect way. The first thing that I would do is I go to my color wheels, click the reset button on it just so it can activate that, go to my color curves, and the reason I'm pitting my color wheels, color curves before a conversion lot is just because I want to color correct, correct my white balance and correct the image before a conversion lot is touching it. Now I will pit on a custom LUT right after that. Then I will throw on my conversion LUT, Danu Vlog L or Vlog to Rec 709. If you are interested in, if you're interested in getting this conversion lot, I do offer for free for Cinelite D to Rec 709 and Vlog and V slash Vlog L to Rec 709. That link is in the description. Nextly, I will just add my hue versus saturation curves, and then finally add one more custom LUT, and I'll put this probably at 0.3 or 30 percent intensity or mix level. I don't want to make my last final LUT too intense just because that will look the that'll make the image just look a little bit too amateur and not professional. So before I actually start color grading this image, anyone that's in Final Cut, you can see right here. If you don't want to have to set this little effects panel right here on the right up every single time, all you have to do is hit save effect presets, name it whatever you want, to, and then just hit save. Starting off with this first clip right here, we will go into the color wheels. I'm going to bring down the shadows quite some bit since I have a lot of room to play with. Bring those highlights down as well and then bring those mids just a little bit down. This is kind of eyeballing at this point just to kind of see what and why I like the image. Now I can already tell without even having to look at my RGB waveform overlay that this image is way too blue. So I'm going to warm this up until I get to a nice decent point. So right off the bat, before I do anything else, you can see this is what it looks like before and after. Next thing into color curves, I like adding just a little bit of contrast in the image. So what I'll do here is I'll bring and I'll make something called a S curve right here. And then this will just kind of make the colors boost just ever so slightly and look just a little bit more saturated and a little bit more contrasty. Now here is where the fun part is. This is where you can actually get into color grading. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can use hues versus saturation curves or you can use color wheels. Um, I just like using hues versus saturation curves. What I typically do is try to make the skin just look right, probably somewhere around there. Um, this is all just kind of personal taste at this point on how you want to color correct the image. Sometimes what I like doing, depending on the season, I'll take the trees and I'll make them a little bit more green or maybe I'll make them a little bit more yellow and depending on it. And then it'll just make the image just feel a little bit more correct. This is where you do your most color grading is in here. It's a very personal taste and a very personal. Then lastly, I'll go to my custom LUTs. This is where the little bit of nice touch up will go. So I'll throw something like the Danu teal and orange on, and this will make my image pop just a little bit more. Add a little bit of that teal and orange. If you're interested in getting any of these different LUTs, I have the Danu Cinema, the Danu Golden, the Danu uh, Punchy for YouTube, and then lastly, the Danu Teal and Orange, which is kind of my personal favorite and what you're looking at right now. So from scratch, we have the custom LUT, color correcting it, adding a little bit of contrast with an S-curve, adding the actual color gray part right here, and then lastly, a custom LUT, just to make some of the colors pop out at the end. So here's what the before is and the after. So on these next two clips, I just want to show you guys how fast you can actually color grade and how easy it is when you are using this process. And I'll do a little bit of talking, but not much in this. So throw on the Vlog L preset. Uh, notice that I can bring just the shadows just a little bit down. Bring my highlights right around there. Bring my midtones right around there. I like having an image just be a little bit warmer. For this particular case, add a little bit of that. Go to my color curves. 
add an S curve. And just like that in real time, you can see how fast of a color grade this is. So we have the custom LUT, color correcting the image, adding a S curve, adding some hue and saturations, fixing the skin tones necessarily, and then adding my custom LUT and from before and after. Finally, on this last clip right here, I will throw on that Vlog L preset, go into the color wheels, bring down my shadows, bring up my highlights, I'll probably bring down my midtones to make this a little bit more moody. This image, I'll make this actually a lot oranger and then bring just those pinks out right there. Add an S curve right here just to add a little bit more of a contrast. Go to hue and saturations. Right here, I'm gonna get a little bit more creative. Probably bring up some of the um, oranges in the sky just to make it a little bit more saturated. And then I'm going to bring probably on the hues, make those mountains be just a little bit more blue. And then lastly, just to touch it all off, I'm going to add the golden hour LUT. So then that adds just a little bit of kick. And then here's that before and the after and then showing the breakdown of all of this you have your custom lot a color correction a little s curve a little bit of a custom hue versus saturation grade on it and then finally the golden hour custom let on it and then this is the before and the after thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any more questions about how to color grade vlog l please just leave them in the description below and if you're interested in learning how to color grade Cinelag D footage, I have this video right here explaining how to color grade that and all the different tips and tricks in that video. And until next week, guys, peace.